Hi, this is Shell of Shell's Creations. Today I want to show you a tip that I use for quick scrapbooking. Um, there's a website or a blog, it's called Speed Scraps. It's at www.speedscraps.blogspot.com and in it she has some scripts or actions. Um, these scripts work in Photoshop CS2 and up and Photoshop Element 6 and up and it says unless noted. Um, my favorite one of all of her tools is the copy and close tool and that's the one I'm going to show you how to do today. Um, you'll notice that on her website she not only does she have the download links here she also has some instructions. On the instructions page you will find installation instructions for how to in, um, install them in the program that you are looking for as well as specific instructions for how to use them. The copy and close instructions are right here and it explains what it does. Essentially what it does is copies and pastes any of your open files that are JPEGs or PNGs, so your papers and your elements, into a PSD file and then it closes all of those files. Um, when it saves them it also names them on the layer what their file name was and so it's easy to go back for crediting purposes it's easy to go back to that those names are all listed on there. Um, you, as long as you know what the code means then you're good to go. Okay, so I have hers installed on my um, in my Photoshop program, and I'm going to show you how it works. Uh, we're going to scrap this. I'm going to use this template for scrapping. So generally, when I use it, I open my papers and then run the script, and then open my photos and run the script, and then the elements run the script and the title work because I don't want to get things as confused with this one because I'm starting with a template I'm gonna go ahead and open everything that I need and so um, I have the template open and it's saved as a PSD to use this script you have to have a PSD that it's gonna to save to um, so you can you either have to start with a template or just start with a blank file and call it my new file dot and save it as a PSD and that's where you need to start. So let's go in and open some of the other files that we need. It looks like I need a couple of papers, a couple of pictures, some flowers, some ribbon. Okay now I have my template open as well as the other things that I'm going to need on this layout. I'm ready to run the action. Um, in Photoshop it does not matter which file is active. In Photoshop Elements you need to be on your PSD file to run it. Um, follow the instructions for running it in Photoshop. It's underneath File, Scripts. You need to find it on your computer. Mine is um, on my desktop. Looks like I have it alphabetically arranged this time. There it is right there. Copy and close. Load it and watch it run. This uh, copy and close script resizes everything to fit on your 12 by 12 layout. If you have a layout that's eight and a half by 11, it may sh it'll shrink it smaller than that. Um, so as it works, it will be making them smaller. My pictures it probably had to make smaller. Most everything else should be smaller than 12 by 12, and will just be copied in at the regular size. Uh, it says that it does it in reverse order of what was the order that they were opened. So it puts in the the last thing you opened is what gets copied in first. Now I'm ready to scrap. Now I find that one of the easiest ways to start is to take all of these things that I've just pasted in so that they aren't in the way and I highlight all of them and click on hide this layer so they're invisible and then I can turn them back on um, one at a time when I'm ready to place them where I want. You don't need to watch me do all of the arranging so I'll speed up this part so that you can just see that things have been put into place.
Okay, now we're ready to add the title. So I'm going to open up the alpha that I want to use. And then I'm going to go in and pick out the letters that I want. Um, I think I'm going to title it Flower Girl. So I need an F, an L, an O, a W, an E, and an R. And I think I'll do girl in a different in a font instead. Okay, before I load those onto my layout, I want to make sure that I'm in the place that I want it. So they'll be loaded in on the right level. Underneath File, down to Scripts, Browse. Mine's on. I keep mine on the desktop so I can find it easily. And when I'm arranging alphas, I do click the auto select layer so that I can find what it is I'm looking for. And I like to arrange them in an empty space. Once again, you don't need to watch me arrange these letters, so I'll speed through this part of the video. And there you go. You can see how easy it is using those scripts loading all of your papers and elements. And especially with alphas, it loads them right onto the stack. Just lickety-split like that. I hope this tip will help you and that you can get that. Again, that's from Speed Scraps. www.speedscraps.blogspot.com And it's the scripts that you want. The one that I've shown you today is copy and close.